another analysis for me and tell me how you feel about this. Do y'all remember Edutech 2000? And I believe that my class out there saying, yes, ma'am, we remember Edutech 2000. And it was called, it was designed to restructure the educational system for the 21st century. For that one, in 1998, it was to position designed to restructure, restructure, which is the same as reform the mm -hmm. education system for the 21st century. Prime Minister Owen Atta introducing, uh, and I got this from Kana, from Kana report, September 5th, 1998. Ed, Prime Minister Owen Arthur introducing his 1998 to 1999 financial statement and budgetary proposals in the House of the Assembly, said the program was designed to prepare our citizens to deal with the realities of life in a post-industrial society. The first component of the project entails the rehabilitation. Are you with me? The rehabilitation of all primary and secondary schools on the island at a cost of 110 million Barbados dollars of. 65 million US. Show me some. You may you may know where they are. I don't know. Some. It's been get all. Show me some of those schools that have been rehabilitated. All primary and secondary schools in court to the cost of 110 million Barbados dollars or US 55. So, so let me uh, let me ask a question. So that are you reading that from the um from a 1998 document? Yes, please. Okay, so so this is what um Owen Arthur had promised under his promised? administration. Promise yeah, and God. Uh, who who, who was his minister of education then? The minister of education. <laughs> Look, as well, may I ask as my student, who was the minister of education then? As well, you're my class. I'm I'm thinking it was a person called Mayor Motley. I'm not certain. Uh yes. <laughs> yes. And, <laughs> And so thank already 110 you billion gone. That's a question then. And who is she now? Oh, she happens to be the IMF person of Britain and Barbados under the guise oh. of the Prime Minister. Hello. I will not that that is a subjective answer. <laughs> I will not give you full mark. I'm Move to the <laughs> Who is she now? Who is she now? Uh, I know I use it probably this might work. I said she was the person of Britain and Barbados with AMF, and they allow her to pretend that she's Prime Minister. Now, <laughs> you stay behind you stay behind and write some lines. Right? Here we go. After that. After no, sorry, sorry, Rose, after, but you know, it was 110 billion. You said, where, where, what did she do with it? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is how the money came. 
after that, the schools would be for $110 million Barbados dollars. That's the rehabilitation of the schools. Mm -hmm. After that, there will be the procurement and equipping of schools. And my class out there connect this now to remote learning, COVID, and what happened to our children. If this investment was to reform education and prepare our students, we're talking of COVID come almost um, 25 years, is it 25 years? not 20 about 20 years after the were we COVID ready did our students have the devices and i my expert here tells me that the apps had to um are usually upgraded every five years so i know that they might become obsolete but were they replaced were our students technically savvy and the very teachers I believe some of the teachers who were supposed to be trained to deliver using the technology through EduTech 2000 would have still been in the system. Somebody is saying here, you have answered my question. And I think that you should be, um, um, be teacher's pet because you have said here, if EduTech 2000 was successful, then online teaching and learning would have been a breeze. Where is the investment? Let us may continue, Marcia, because you're the principal. You yes, but but yeah, I, I, this is this is mind blowing. So you're you're saying that um in see when the, when you asked that question, who was minister of education? I could not have answered. I I would have to move to the back of the class. <laughs> but 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 so I, I'm writing notes. So this in 1998, our prime minister, present prime minister, all jokes aside, was the minister of education. And they, um, part of what she was supposed to do was the restructuring or the rehabilitation of all primary and secondary schools. And it would have been 110 million um, Barbados dollars to do this. Yes. The, the, the question is, um, did she, was that money spent? Marcia, what I am reading from the document, I'm throwing it out to my class. I am asking my class to use the knowledge, do research, because I've done research, I've looked for evaluation for an evaluation of EduTech 2000, and I can't find any. If you can find- So, so, so what does, so EduTech 2000, this 110 million um, was connected to that, EduTech? No, Marcia. You know, sometimes students that like use a sandy lesson or sorry, <laughs> I said the lesson off. So. It's in done. Okay, let me let you let me leave you alone. Okay, keep oh, going. And as the continues that after yes. that there will be the procurement and equipping of schools with computer hardware and software, which will cost Barbados a hundred and fifty two million dollars or US $76 million. The government applied for a loan of $85 million from the IDB and $30 million US dollars from the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, and counterpart funding from the government will be a hundred and 20 million Barbados or US 60 million. Do the math. Wait. Wait. I, I added up here. I am asking what do we have to show for that education reform initiative called EduTech 2000 that would have prepared our students for the 21st century. And here we were caught 
in uh, COVID-19 and some of her children could not participate in online learning because, and I remember the slogan, a device for every household. I don't know if you remember that. A yes. device was, was um, someone is saying the money was spent, but how? I do know that I heard rumors that much of the money went into civil works and kickbacks were given to persons who call themselves contractors who couldn't contract. So hold a minute. So I listen. I am the new kid. I'm, I'm the new. I, I I I am the new kid in the class, and I came in in the middle of the term. You know that kind of kid. So explain yes. to me here now. So I just added up four hundred and six million dollars. Anybody did that? Because it was a hundred and a hundred and ten million for the rehabilitation project. Um, that is to uh, for the primary and secondary school. That's so the yes. the actual school to you know to make sure the the school looks and and can 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 do all the services it's supposed to do. And then there was Edutech, one hundred and seventy six million Barbados that they got from IDB. Somebody's mic is cracking. I think it's Caswell's mic. One hundred and seventy six million the IDB loan, and then another one hundred. That's US. One hundred and fifty two oh. million. Oh, that that's U U S. The one hundred and fifty two is two is, million is, Barbados. Ah, oh. or seventy six million U S. Okay, one fifty. Okay, one seventy six million. Um, let us total then. If you're totaling eighty five yeah. million U S. from IDB. Yes. Thirty million from CDB. Yes. And the counterpart funding from the government sixty million U S. Okay, so that was so six. How much okay. Is that? So that's five. Okay, eleven and fourteen. One hundred and forty-five million US. Yes. One hundred and forty-five million US. So um, and, so and so that, two thousand. Which wow. was supposed to reform education. Therefore, the plant would have been reformed. I mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm class, so I put up my hand. Because you yes. asked the question just now, and I didn't, I didn't hear answered. You asked, what did we get for that money? Yes, we got, please. We got several BLP millionaires who, who, were contract, who became contractors and, be, and then millionaires as a result. I think that's... I think that would be full marks. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what happened to that investment? Would you out there say education was reformed in all seriousness? And the test of it, the lit was paper test. I just recently here. People got begged for devices for the children. Children without mm. devices. Teachers afraid. To, to teachers uh, were, were, uh, saying, you know, were, were felt in, not sufficiently prepared to deliver reward. Or if you were accustomed and were trained and, re, and were prepared. All it required was for children to move the devices out of the classroom, go home, and to continue teaching. We did mm. talk about a lost decade. I am seeing a one, I remember writing a paper and I started writing it. I should have sent it to the press. What provision have we was provision was made was to be made forget my english all mixed up now 
to compensate. I'm talking about compensatory education. And it was called compensatory education for those who suffered fallout during lockdown. And this guy, is, this, what, this man is saying something here. Um, just uh, and, and I'm going to ask you to to repeat that point. But I think what he's saying here is important. It's so big. I don't want to put it on the screen. It's going to cover you. But Joe, Joseph Cadogan is saying at that time I was contracted to be part of that project, and I refused the offer because I was told to submit invoice before I did any work, and my business partner in Canada told me not to get involved. There you go. What happened? Had and 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 this is just part of edu tech, to, um, education reform. I'm looking at the clock. This brings us on to funding. I may not be able to cover all the. the no, no, the but but listen, you you got it. You got You have to come back, right, Caswell? She has to come yes, back. Defin definitely, 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 definitely. Listen, we're gonna have to make a regular. Um, <laughs> yeah, to, to, yeah, to, yeah. Till we get over this hump here with education, because this is. But but before she goes on, I feel like I need to process what is going on. Uh, teacher, teacher, can you slow down the class a little bit yes, for me? Please, because... Yes, please. <laughs> so some things demystified. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so so um. So this hundred and forty-five million dollars, you're saying that it wasn't money that was just budgeted, but it was money that borrowed. was was it was borrowed, and the meaning that we got the money, and and it was assigned to the Ministry of Education, and the Minister of Education at the time was um, was Mia Motley, who is now the Prime Minister of Barbados and 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 what we're saying from based on what you what you're saying teacher what what we are we to understand that that none or most of these things were not done under the um under under that um the, under her watch i i am i don't want to suggest that i am hmm. saying i want where is the evidence i do know that some schools would have had the lab uh, sections uh, oh, uh, retrofitted for the the computers etc i'm not saying that nothing happened but are we sufficiently satisfied with the outcomes and with the returns and the tangibles on an investment that was supposed to transform may i read what the prime minister said or the prime minister said at that time the late owen arthur said that the program was designed to prepare our citizens to deal with the realities of life in a post-industrial society and to restructure the educational system for the 21st century. I would not come here and, 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 and say thank you, that person who commented that what Ms. Corbin said factual is here. I researched instead of having a quiet week last week. I was researching, come in my living room and see how my living room looked. All the old newspaper clippings I went back to. All the 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 the, the um my question here tonight, we're looking at reforming, and one of the things that I I wish and it's beyond the Auditor General's report. But when we embark on, 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 on big investments like these and loans, there shall be checks and balances, and we should be able to account for the, 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 the tangible outcomes. Where are they? 
where are the schools that have been rehabilitated? How many schools have been rehabilitated? To what extent? Was it sustainable? Where is the evaluation on that process of reform? I can look back as I did historically last week on Friday and do a checkoff list for all the attainables on the, on the Sloyd. I could do a checklist on the um, so Ron, uh, Ronald Jones. He sought to establish how many sixth form schools in the new secondary school. And it then calls for a big loan from IDB or CDB. And I am not pleased either with the succeeding minister who was Ronald Jones who should have done an assessment of that EduTech 2000 implementation and let us know where it was at and if it were sustainable and continue it. But that investment died a, do, should I say slow or sudden death, without any accountability without any checks and balances to say that it served to reform education. Because if I am to look back, I would give it a failing grade because now the test was here. Mm. And we heard schools and got devices, teachers in, 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 in prepare. If it were a sustainable, um, process that sought to reform reform when you're reforming it is a process you keep working at it you mm -hmm. you, 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 you you bandage it you look for leakages especially when there is an investment of that mm -hmm. magnitude and mm -hmm. this brings us on then and sorry if i'm getting passionate but no, I, no, but I, I, I understand I, what you're saying. I understand because that I, too was a reform. That too was a reform. Yeah. I, you, you know, you see what she's saying, and, and it never happened. It never I happened. Remember, and wow. in all fairness, I remember that the same Kim Hakani as manager of the act invited myself and Sandra husband and a few others in the morning. To, 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 you know, talk about EduTech 2000 brainstorming. After that meeting, um, um, the same Kim Hakoni asked me if I would stay on for a meeting with the then Prime Minister of the then Minister of Education. He said, sure, sure I would. And I remember moving from the, the, the meeting room at yes. And we all congregated under the tambourine tree with Madam Minister, Madam Minister, Mia Motley. And we chatted and she was again passionate. She had this vision. She wanted it to move. And I remembered at that time the chief education officer when uh, me, uh, Minister Motley asked me, um, and what do you have to say, uh, Mrs. Corbin? Share any ideas I started to share. The then chief education officer got very offended and dropped a remark about all oh, these people that come in. Uh, I don't mean, know nothing about education. And I remember the then minister raised her finger and said, we would have not have to speak like that about Mrs. Corbyn. Apparently, you don't know that she, you don't know, and she rattled off my resume. And what I realized with EduTech 2000, and I don't want to attribute all the blame to the minister. There were persons, key players, 
who felt that entry tech 2000 belonged to them and nobody else must must, must have a, a role to play within there and i'm seeing the same thing being mimicked in this new proposal that is being um, um, given to the public to reform education I wouldn't tell you, and I'm going to be facetious here too. After that meeting. Oh, uh, one second, one second. This is this is stuff coming out here on the on the chat. You see this one? This? Um, this person says, My school prepared the computer lab, submitted an LPO for a certain amount of computers, only to have received an invoice for more than what was ordered unfortunately i just threw out those documents do, do you see that, <laughs> that, that I, am that's... Not, I, I i am not telling stories i stood on a school board and thank god for the decency and the transparency the decency and the transparency of the late grace honorable grace thompson you know her cats well and 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 that lady would say we can't go that route we're not taking that in we're not accepting that we have to tender we have to do this because it tech 2000 seemed to have been a truck that everybody jumped on on and could get what they can get out of it. 